It's my mom, and she's gonna be so happy I gave her a shout out because she calls you her favorite historian. Because you do all these threads on Twitter where you lay out really good history stories, right? History that people probably don't commonly know, right? And wouldn't be inclined to find out if you hadn't put it out there. Um, you wrote a post about 10 um, history stories that like white people should know, which I thought was amazing, right? Because again, it talks about things that don't normally get talked about. Who knew that there was a Supreme Court justice that was a Klan member and an FDR who, who is always viewed as being so progressive, uh, put him on the bench. A another theory that I have is the reason they don't want this history to be taught is because, and I feel like you've said this too, is they're afraid of their children knowing right, that they've been complicit in protecting a system that basically uplifts and upholds whiteness above all else, right? So that even if it's a white person who has never done a racist thing in their life, never said a racist thing in their life, they're still guilty, they're still complicit because they also are not speaking against this thing because it keeps, the whiteness keeps them comfortable. Do you have a septic tank or do you have a, you know, or a city uh, sewer system. A city sewer system, yeah. Most people kind of don't know, some people, some homeowners know, but a lot of people don't know, right? Because you kind of don't care where the shit you, the stuff you shit out goes, as long as you get it out, right? <laughs> and that's kind of how, you know, that's kind of how whiteness is, right? All white people want is, like, when they flush the toilet, does the doo-doo go so? <laughs> If you find out that, hey man, this is going into somebody else's backyard and it's poisoning them, you'd be like, man, um, maybe I need to change the way my system works. Maybe I, you know, I need to, you know, put get a, hook it up to a sewer system or hook it up to the, the city sewer. And the system of whiteness poisons people. So, but you don't care. They don't care because it works for them. It gets the boo-boo out of their house. Their house don't smell like shit, but they kind of don't care where it goes. But if you teach them, hey, you know, this whole time, all this stuff you've been doing, you think you, you're just flushing your toilet, but it's been really poisoning people, then they might have to change that whole system. But that whole system has been benefiting them as a whole. And it, it, what I think it has, it really has it, right? So they think that, like, I, one of the, my favorite quotes is white people think, don't think that they're losers. They think that they're winners who just haven't won yet, right? They think that, I mean, whiteness is a lottery ticket. They just ain't won yet. Even if the poorest white man on the planet wouldn't trade places with a black person, because they got a lottery ticket. They are afraid that if their children realize that what they've been doing just benignly has been poisoning the rest of the country, it might change their children's mind and make them want to dismantle this racist white supremacist system. And I mean, I don't say that like as uh, an insult to America, it's just what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, that's how America works. It's just like your toilet. I don't, I don't say, well, it's poisoning people because I hate toilets. It's just like how it works. Right. Um, so that's one of the things that they're afraid of. But most of it is because they really ain't got shit else to rest on. You know, just think about if you were an average white man, would you want to have to compete on an even playing field with black people? Would you want to have to apply for the job and have people who you have an advantage over just because of the color of your skin? Would you want your children to have to compete to get into college with people who schools were now funded at equal rates, right? Nah, man, it's, it's like this, that whole dismantling of the system starts with knowing that this shit has always been broken. Not broken now, it's always been broken and Part of it is your mama and your granddaddy and your great granddaddy are the reason that it's broken because not only didn't they help fix it, but they say, nah, let's help break this shit some more.